So the dietary sources of vitamin B3 include the following, fortified cereals and grains. So cereals and grains that have had niacin added to them artificially. We can also find it in meat and fish, legumes, and to a lesser extent in nuts, tea, and coffee. And we can also get niacin from endogenous synthesis. So endogenous synthesis means we are making it inside our own bodies. And we actually do this through hepatic synthesis, through synthesis in our liver. And what happens is niacin or vitamin B3 is synthesized in our liver from tryptophan. And this process requires riboflavin. So what causes vitamin B3 deficiency? So the first category of causes is poor dietary intake. So this makes sense. If you're not eating enough niacin and you're not eating enough tryptophan because you can also make it in your liver from tryptophan, you're going to have low amounts of niacin or low amounts of vitamin B3. So one of the states is alcoholism. So chronic alcoholism, a lot of times individuals with chronic alcoholism don't eat a whole lot in general. So they're going to have issues with getting enough niacin and tryptophan. Malnutrition for the same reason. Vegan diet. So although we did talk about some fortified grains and cereals and legumes, we often get a lot of vitamin B3 from meats and fish. So certain vegan diets can lead to a vitamin B3 deficiency. Fasting and starvation, again, due to similar reasons we talked about before, and anorexia nervosa as well. The second category of causes is decreased synthesis. So we need both oral intake through our diet of niacin or vitamin B3, but you also need some of that synthesis from tryptophan to make enough niacin for adequate levels of vitamin B3. So if you don't have enough synthesis, you're going to have some vitamin B3 deficiency as well. One of them is liver disease because as we mentioned before, tryptophan is processed into niacin in the liver. So if there's any issue with the liver, this process might be disrupted. Another cause of decreased synthesis is carcinoid syndrome. So carcinoid syndrome is a perineoplastic syndrome and it's really due to a carcinoid cancer that is producing excessive amounts of serotonin. So what happens is that excessive amounts of serotonin is produced from tryptophan. So it consumes tryptophan. So we don't have enough tryptophan to make vitamin B3. And another cause of decreased synthesis of vitamin B3 is deficiency of riboflavin and iron. So I don't know if you remember me mentioning it before, but I talked about hepatic synthesis requires tryptophan. So we use tryptophan to produce niacin, but we also need riboflavin for this process as well. And we also need iron. I didn't mention that before, but we also need iron for this process as well. So if you're deficient in riboflavin and iron, you can have a niacin deficiency or vitamin B3 deficiency. Another category of causes is decreased absorption. So we just talked about absorption. If you're not absorbing it from your small intestine, you can have issues actually having enough vitamin B3. Some of these include inflammatory bowel disease. So there's inflammation due to Crohn's, for instance, that's affecting parts of the small intestine. This can lead to decreased absorption of vitamins in general. Heart and up disease is another cause. This is actually an autosomal recessive condition that leads to reduced tryptophan absorption. So it is a genetic cause, but it really is a decreased absorption, but really decreased synthesis as well. So it can fit into multiple categories. So reduced tryptophan absorption. So you don't have enough tryptophan to produce vitamin B3 in the liver. And then GI surgery in general, if there's large amounts of the gastrointestinal system that are removed, then you won't have the surface area to actually absorb vitamin B3. And then finally, the last category here we're going to talk about is medications. So the medications that can cause vitamin B3 deficiency, especially if they're used for long periods of time, include the following. One of them is isoniazid. So this is the one that you're actually going to see that's most often talked about with regards to causing vitamin B3 deficiency. But we can also see it with 5-fluorouracil, azathioprine, pyrazinamide, and phenobarbital use as well.